Hey, what's happening, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. I received a notification, or rather a comment, in one of my YouTube videos asking, suppose you want to deploy React App 1 to Subdomain 1 and React App 2 to Subdomain 2. Do I need separate name servers for a single domain with two subdomains? The answer is you just have to set up your domain name once and Netlify takes care of it. And I thought, you know what? This would be a great project to showcase in a video. So what I have here is I have my website, adesignerwhocodes.com, and what I wanna do is I wanna host this subdomain website. It looks pretty amazing. This is actually one of my templates that I built in a previous video, which I will link down below in the description. And I wanna show you how I'm gonna link this subdomain up to my regular domain, which is hosted at Netlify. And with that, let's get started. All right, once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, and this channel is all about helping you design more and to troubleshoot less. If that's what you're looking for online, then hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, let's get started. So I already have my domain set up in Netlify. If you are new to setting up your domain name, I will put a link down below in the description that showcases how you can do this first step of putting your domain name into Netlify and launching a regular website through Netlify. This is all about a subdomain. So once again on Netlify, I have my domain name, which is a adesignerwhocodes.com. And what I wanna do is I wanna set up a subdomain for this site. The great part about this is now that I already have my domain name sitting in Netlify, it's even easier to set up a subdomain. So I'm gonna head back, I'm gonna create a new site from Git and I'm using GitHub, and I've authorized the page, and I did create, what did I say? I said subdomain template, that's what it was. So a subdomain, I just created a little test, it should show up here, maybe, there we go. Cool, subdomain template, I'll deploy the site. The first step is making sure your site's actually on Netlify. So starting up, in the meantime, what I can do is I can kind of say, you know what, let me just give it a, this will be a subdomain.netlify.com. Nope, no one has it, sweet. So I just created a more of a subdomain of netlify.app for a subdomain. I think that's as many times I can say subdomain in a sentence. Anyways, back to the deploy. It is building it. We should watch this because it's really exciting. I actually kind of get a thrill to see what it does. Uh, this is a small site. It should build about a minute, minute and a half. We'll take a look, see what's going on. So the first step again is to make sure your site actually deploys on Netlify. If your site's not built or it's not actually successful, then your site won't work, period. Fingers crossed, everything looks good here. I think this is the initial first build. Yeah, it is. So this will take a little bit longer as it sets everything up. Once again, it should be working fine. I'm not quite sure why it's taking a little bit longer, but technology can be fun sometimes, as kind of like to say. Perfect. All right, deploy the packages, rock and roll, Gatsby build, Netlify build, we're looking good. Come on build, you can do it. If this isn't like watching paint dry, I don't know what is, but I thought it was gonna go a lot faster than I thought. So as we're going back, to deploys building. Come on, man, one more second. You gotta be able to work. And it is writing out the pages, rewriting compilation hatches. I feel like I'm live um, doing some kind of sports piece on this video. There we go. Site is live, we're rocking and rolling. So awesome, it's published. And if I try the subdomain of Netlify, it's all good. Here's the great part. Now that I already have two pieces, I have this website and my domain name already within Netlify, let's connect the two. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go to Site Overview and I'm gonna go to Domain Settings. And in here is my custom domains, which I already changed once before for the default subdomain. I can then add a custom domain. So the custom domain is going to be a designer who codes.com verify. Yep, add the domain. Oh, you know what I gotta do? Not that. Oh, was subdomain, excuse me on that one, a designer who codes.com. 
And yes, I'm gonna add the subdomain. Yes, add this domain. That's what it was. I kind of jumped myself an extra jump or two. Perfect, subdomain, a designer who codes.com. And if I refresh, it does take, as I said in my last video, it will take up to 24 hours for the HTTPS, the SSL certificate to kick into gear. So do know that this does take up to a full day, almost two days to kick in. But pretty much I now have subdomain.adesignerwhocodes.com and there it is, subdomain.adesignerwhocodes.com. Since I've already registered and put my domain name into Netlify, it's all set to go. If you want more videos helping you design more and troubleshoot less, check out the videos I have here and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.